<laughs> she ate, yeah, she ate a lot of corn. Have fun with that. Now, before we move, the baby has a lot of poop right now. And the Emerald, best Emerald's is blueberries. Poop. Oh my gosh, yeah. blueberry oh. poop is amazing. I know you've changed diapers before. You're just you're just growing. Now, before we move on to our regular rambling rigmarole, I have some random loose topics. Okay. Kind of like you go to a comic book store and they've got that tiny little bin of loose figures. Yeah. You know, the actual figures that have lost all of their uh, value because they're not in any packaging anymore. Like loose figures. I have some loose topics here that I wanted to talk about. Number one, aliens. What? Aliens. Okay. I'm not saying aliens, but, but aliens. aliens. So, in the 60s, there are alien sightings and alien abductions. People are getting abducted by aliens mm -hmm. in the 60s. And then in the 70s, more people get abducted by aliens, and there's more sightings. And there's grainy pictures, and, and there's, there's these grainy photographs, and, and there are these eyewitness counts. And then in the 80s, there are more... Uh, a abduction, so many more abductions, and yeah. people are getting abducted and probed and and stuck and and uh, it, it, it experimented on. And there are more grainy photographs and bit of grainy video from far away. And then in the '90s, there's more alien uh, visitations, and aliens are coming, and aliens are visiting people, and aliens are abducting, and aliens are talking to people, and yeah. aliens are coming down. But then by the time the century comes along, the millennia comes along, we all have cameras in our pants. I, I, I have an answer for this. Go ahead. We have cameras in our, in our pockets. We have cameras in our hands, in our back pockets. We, ha we all have recording devices in our, our pants. Where is the alien abduction videos? Where is the alien sighting videos? If aliens have been continuing to show up, it's not like aliens showed up in 1959 and we must take we must take these humans for experimentation until they learn iOS software. <laughs> Once they learn iOS, our asses are out of here. Until then, it's broken time. Well, they do. There are still pictures and there are still videos. And if you go and check out some of the latest UFO conspiracy, you will learn that the UFOs are putting out a particular type of radiation that makes it un impossible to take a clear photo of them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. These aliens. This is. Yes, honey. Yes, please. What is. Hold on. Natasha has a theory. What's your theory, honey? I told this to Steve when he brought this up before. I'm pretty sure that the aliens, after gathering a significant amount of data, yeah. decided we were worth their fucking time. No. And just won't. That's a good theory. I mean, quite frankly, a well-educated person who can see what's going on in this world today can say, yeah, y'all ain't worth my time. I'm going to move to the moon or yeah. something. I mean, I, I don't think humans are worth, worth the time anymore. Yeah. Well, That's and, and, good. And, and the thing is always... It, it, they 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 want our resources. They want our resources. Look, we right now can manufacture gold. We can manufacture diamonds. We can manufacture just about anything. What fucking resources do they need? Stupidity. Dude, maybe that's it. Yeah. They, they could be. They could be letting us just get stupider and stupider and when the population of stupid people is higher than the population of intelligent people they're going to come and farm us <laughs> or resources like i don't know maybe our stupidity fuels something for them that's a good point <laughs> well i mean think they're, about they're it they're alien i'm thinking literally fuel yes like, yeah that's what I there are there like, alien planets out there that run on uh trump voters Oh, what about great what about <laughs> this? What about Harvest this? Okay. What about the UFOs that people claim they see? Okay. 
they're actually like radio stations, you know, like the big radio towers you see. And they're just broadcasting everything from Earth back to their home planet because we're really fucking entertaining. <laughs> well, I mean, we have our own reality television. Why wouldn't our reality be hilarious to higher beings? Yeah, I mean, you know, really, think saying- about sitting on the outside where you have no stake in the game and just watching humans and laughing at how fucking stupid we are. Yeah, these so aliens, stupid we're probably going to destroy ourselves. These aliens never come and get our smartest or our brightest or our most talented. No. The people who go through these alien abductions are usually not the 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 brightest yeah, bulbs in the They're in not the being picked up at the fucking Harvard University or Stanford University, yeah. you know, like the science there. They're, they're not picking those people. They're up. not. They're not getting our. They're not getting our. Uh, our Einsteins or our Tysons, Neil deGrasse oh or, Mike, or Mike, for that matter. Or Mike. No, they're picking up more. Or Mike. our chickens. I just punched you. Tyson face. chicken. You see. Yeah. You see that. I see yeah. I mean, Bill, Bill, uh, Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson are probably like, yeah, they wouldn't come and take us. We put out signals. Yeah. yeah. We don't want. To people yeah. are fucking idiots yeah <laughs> just amazing to me that now you know you can take a studio quality picture with your with the supercomputer you have in your genes and uh yet i'm not seeing any alien abduction videos no pictures i'm not seeing anything <laughs> That's a good uh, theory that uh, Bunny brought up. I didn't know that. Ooh, and, that and that is air quotes true, okay? If you actually yeah. go and check out conspiracy theory, that is the current word on that. They actually okay. have a bullshit answer for it. What nice. about But now, this? thinking about thinking yes. about the scientists, though, I have, a, I have a theory there, okay? Now, it really depends on the, on the evolutionary scale of the aliens that are visiting. You know, so this really wouldn't apply to aliens who like fairly recently got space travel like this and are checking shit out really wouldn't apply to them. But you more advanced aliens. You pick up a scientist and that scientist is still just a gibbering chimp. You know, so you pick up a gibbering chimp that's just going to ask a lot of fucking questions and be really annoying. Yeah, you know, because yeah, Neil, Neil deGrasse like, Tyson is going to have a lot of questions, yeah. and to the alien, yeah. they're all going to be idiotic. Why is the sky blue? Why I'm is the grass? You know, I'm imagining Neil deGrasse Tyson getting abducted by aliens, and automatically, once he's in the ship, he starts singing his own sciency version of "What's This." Yeah. from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. He's in the alien spaceship traveling faster than the speed of light. What's this? What's this? <laughs> yeah. There's science everywhere. There's science everywhere. What's this? There's aliens in the air. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you too. Okay, but yeah, uh... <laughs> You still got something? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to go back to the whole they make themselves blurry. Maybe they have evolved enough. I mean, think about it. If they're coming out here to Earth for centuries, you know, or decades or whatever and taking us and there's pictures, maybe they've evolved enough where they can cloak themselves in to be invisible. Maybe. Okay. You can't see them at all. Yeah. And the only time you do a blurry photo is from a generation or a type of alien who hasn't quite mastered that technology mm-hmm. yet. You know, I mean, yeah. can't cloak themselves. Basically, now we're writing some really good fan fiction. For aliens. You can, you can work this into Supernatural. But like even that. even <laughs> with <laughs> that, even, uh, not even, okay, so, so even without invisibility, they've got to know how to just evade our technology and not be seen. Which indicates to me that if they are seen, they're seen because they want to fuck with us some. Yes. 
oh, it's a, it's a fun science experiment. Let's see how they react to this. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. they would only be seen when they want to be seen. I have another yeah. theory. It's conspiracy theory now. Okay. Uh, um, 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 global warming is caused by aliens. That's a good point. Coming in and out of the atmosphere. Yeah. They've ripped holes. Now, you know, that's why, right? Yeah. That's totally probably get some sound scientific yeah, that's a theory. That. Yeah. That's a I, good I, theory. I, yeah, I like that. It's caused by their spaceships coming in and out of the atmosphere. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. And like the meteors the coming people. through and burning up as shooting stars. Maybe that's what's heating up the atmosphere. Yeah. You know? I'm just saying. And, and you know what? Maybe it's their fuel is causing a type of um, global warming on their own planet. So they are trying to figure out how to harvest stupidity as a source of fuel for their spaceships so that it's a cleaner burning fuel. Yes. I think that possibly one of the reasons why the you know the global warming has gotten worse recently is probably because up in heaven prince is trying to fuck all the angels uh, that's possible boy things angels girl so angels doesn't matter he's just getting freaky up there things are just getting hot yeah things are getting hot things are getting hot hot so, hot hot <laughs> yeah another thing i wanted to talk about is emerald i wanted to talk about my daughter emerald child is my she, my child Emerald. Is she an alien? No, Might no. Be. But we we had a wonderful uh, bonding experience. We connected, <laughs> okay, in a very deep and meaningful way. The other day, she's got a uh, what? The Sims Four? Is that it? Sims Five? Sims Four. Sims Four. Okay, she's got the Sims Four. Oh my God! You dressed the dog up as a oh she she dropped her. You Santa put hat. the dog in my gift to the cat. Oh my God! Look at the dog dressed up. Have you taken pictures? Okay, because I need pictures of this. Because people won't understand; they're just listening. So, so Emerald has The Sims Four, and she plays it a lot. And and she spent a, a massive amount of time doing a near perfect recreation of our house. Okay, nice. When through she went through the entire house looking at it with new eyes they should like she's never like we all live in this house but we've never had to like fully pay attention to it so suddenly she's walking down the hallways have the light fixtures always look like this wait wait where wait where does this closet end oh i'm gonna have to redo this okay so where is this here she's she worked like crazy doing the house and I, I was watching like, her. The only thing she didn't do was get blueprints. Yeah. 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 I was watching as she, as, as she was building the, the house and it was really impressive. But then eventually it hit me. I'm like, Oh my God, are you going to make all of us? Are you going to make the whole family? Oh my God, we're all going to die. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> yes. They, I remember reading a story from the 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 vaguely famous female uh, humor author, Lori Nataro. She's the the creator of the 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 idiot book, the idiot girls book club, the idiot girls club. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, um, she wrote an essay about how she went to go buy the Sims game, and the person who was literally working at the GameStop said. Here you go. Don't make you don't make yourself. Okay. It's like uh, don't make yourself. Don't make your loved ones. Don't make your family. They will all die. There will be a fire. Everyone will die, and you'll be sad. It'll cause a lot of fights. And just don't do it. I'm just telling you <laughs> right now. Don't do it. And she's like, okay. So she buys it. And she brings it all. She brings it home. And then, of course, automatically, she starts making everyone she knows. And she starts fighting with her boyfriend because the, the boyfriend in the Sims game isn't doing anything around the house. Okay. <laughs> and she's the one doing all the work and she starts getting pissed off at the real boyfriend. He's like, and he's like, but I do things around the house. And she's like, yeah, but you don't do enough. You should be helping me out more. And he's like, you're only yelling at me because of a stupid Sims game. And there's all this fight. <laughs> there's a big fight. And then eventually he tries to clean up the kitchen and the kitchen gets lit on fire and he dies. Okay. In the game, and so, like, I realized Emerald's working her ass off trying to build our house because, oh, my God, she's going to make the family. It's going to be horrible. And 
and I was I, I was worried. And then like the next day or like two days later, Emerald comes up to me, and then that's when we bonded. That's okay. when we connected. Because Emerald, what did you specifically say? Because it, like it, it I, I've got like a general <laughs> understanding, but I I just want to like nail it. It's so fucking stressful trying to manage seven people in a household. Yeah. And I was like, yes, thank you. You understand. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. And it, then I tried to put on free will so that they could just do whatever the fuck they wanted. Oh, my God. How'd that work out for you? Oh, my God. <clears throat> How did it work out for you? You guys to do whatever you wanted. <laughs> work out. Oh, my God. I think you went to a bar. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. My yeah, yep. you went to a bar. You were on the computer all day. Yep. Eleanor was bugging Amber. Yep. Um, and I think I was playing with Maxwell, and Bella was sleeping. Yeah, yep. that's exactly yep. Yep. our that's, house too. That's that's pretty much it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Bella. <laughs> yeah, that's that's spot on. Seriously, if my stand so died, basically, you managed to cartoon your life. Browsers, just to be clear. What was Browsers? that, Benny? Yeah. Basically, you just managed to cartoon your life. Yeah. 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 That's so I think Emerald might have the, the tiniest inkling of what I go through yeah. every single yeah. day. She understands us a little bit better now that she understands how Sims, difficult it is. Yeah. Watching The Sims, me, Emerald might understand why I'm drinking all the time. Yeah. <laughs> why you're listening to the Nice. Nice. You sit at home and you teach Eleanor how to read. Also, I finally got my phone back. I finally got a working yes. phone. And um, in the, like, I don't know however long amount of time it was that I didn't have a phone, I was using my wife's big-ass tablet. It's a huge tablet. It's a massive tablet. And I started carrying this tablet everywhere. And it really worked because uh, my, my wife got this tablet through our phone company. So I could actually like send texts and make phone calls with the tablet. Okay. So, so I, I, and, and that's what I'm using right now to record this episode of the podcast. So it, it just worked. And now I, when I, I finally have a phone back and I'm like, yes, I have a phone back. And once I grab the phone, like I understand why I'm about to say this. I understand why I'm about to say this. But once I finally got my phone back, the first thing I thought was, Oh my God, this is so fucking small. How in the world did I ever do things on this small phone? How the hell did I ever see things on this small phone? When I just had this phone and not the huge-ass tablet, everything looked normal. Now I'm looking at this, and everything looks all miniature. I feel like my eyes are about to bleed, which leads me to my point. Okay. It must be a wonderful time to be an optometrist. <laughs> Because we're all staring at these tiny ass screens. And then what are kids doing? They're playing the Nintendo 3DS, which forces the, it's a, it's a, it's a Nintendo DS, which gives out, a, it, the game looks like it's in 3D. And the game looks like it's in 3D because it, for, it, it shows you a double screen and it forces your eyes to cross. So while you're playing the 3DS, your eyes are crossed. Ooh. That's why we stopped playing DS games because basically they're fucking with a whole generation of children's eyesight. Now is the time to be an optometrist, people. Yes. yes. Although I always, I always get a little nervous about a doctor that's in the back of the Walmart by the tires. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 we do not value eyes. You know, dentists nope. get a nice fucking layout, you know? Yeah. And they're getting good paydays. Yeah. But the eye guy, God, I hope he's making better than minimum wage. Okay, Maxwell, try dinner. It's really, really good, and I like it. Um, you would think eyes would be important. Right. No. Yeah, you would think eyes would be important. You would think eyes would be important. One thing... One of the reasons why I don't think that people take eyes seriously is that a lot of people, especially here in Oklahoma, if they have a problem with their eyes, um, they just go, oh, I'll just laser it. And then they get the laser surgery, and now their eyes are fine, or at least they think their eyes are fine. Yeah. 
but it, I, I had heard I, I had heard one thing about laser surgery that like kind of put me off and like I would never be able to do it before starting with the laser they slash your eye with a razor <laughs> while you're awake <laughs> I, I'm pretty I, sure I, that's one of the movies from the Complex Magazine's list of the top 50 most disturbing films of all time I physically Jesus would Christ. not be able to do that. I would not. I almost jumped thing. off of the table during my vasectomy. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to be yeah. able to have a laser slash my eye. Jesus. The, um, only, the only thing stopping me from jumping off the table was the realization that I would be dragging my balls behind me. <laughs> One thing. Uh, I, I had a doctor ask me if I wanted to get laser surgery, and I really thought about it, and my answer was, the doctor said, if you get laser surgery, you won't have to worry about your eyes anymore. But I've spent 40 years worrying about that. Yeah. You know? It's like, it's like I'm not just going to change my skin color so that I'm white. Right. You know? As much as I would want that, I've spent 40 years acting like this. <laughs> it's going to be impossible for me to... I can't imagine not worrying about my eyes at this point, you know? Yeah. It's just been so long. I would spend the remainder of my life trying to um, adjust my phantom glasses, basically. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Freaking weird. <laughs> And how fucked up would that be? And yeah, I could see that you would wind up doing that for years, yeah. pushing up yeah. your glasses and them not being there. And how many little frustrations would that be in a day? Oh, God. Yeah. And it would happen so many times. I mean, that already happens to me a couple of times when I'm wearing contacts. Yeah. I can't imagine what, the, what it would be like if I didn't even have contacts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, weird. It would just be weird. Another thing I wanted to talk about is live streams. I'm live streaming story time now. Yes. And I have, I, I've been trying to pay attention to stuff. I had a story time two weeks ago, and from the time I did story time and posted it on Facebook to the time that it was the next Saturday and I was going to record another story time, it had been seen... 230 times. Yeah. But then this last story time that I did was like a superhero story time and I was dressed in a costume and it was really silly and stuff. And so that one, when I was in my costume and everything, by the time I left work that day, I had already hit 230 views. Nice. So I think what this means is trying to pay attention to what thing, what people like and stuff like that. If I want a lot of views, I pretty much have to wear a silly outfit every time. Possibly. I think that's what I need to step I, up. I, I don't think up. you have enough data to tell yet, though. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. But that's, I think, the one thing that is kind of that is making this popular, at least. I'm trying to figure it out. It's funny because I I was doing story time and there were the, the I said this is Facebook over here uh, right on this display this is Facebook face we're live streaming it everybody say hi to Facebook and there were like two boys that were being smart asses and were covering up the the the, the tablet yeah trying cover up Facebook and I said kids stop covering up Facebook you, 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 people are just seeing hands people are going to think this is hand story time and apparently I was explaining that to the store manager after story time and the store manager said oh that's why and I said what are you talking about and the store manager said well we got two different phone calls from people saying that they were trying to watch the story time live on Facebook and all they saw <laughs> were a bunch of hands 
And it's like, oh, wow, people are paying attention. That's really awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Give me three more cameras and we can cut that into something nice. Two more. Yeah. Two more. Two more. Yeah. Yeah. No, people are actually paying attention, and that's that's awesome. I really like that. So anyway, yeah, I'm live streaming. It's pretty awesome. 